Hello everybody, this is Andi Silversor with episode 32 of our Rift Let's Play series. Um, excuse my voice, I'm kind of sick today. I don't, like, something came over me over the night and just not, my stomach's not feeling so well. But, yeah. Um, I've been doing a whole bunch of foraging and stuff. We got some creeper berry bushes and... You said creepers was just in Minecraft. They're all over the place, like honestly. Um, I figured out that these things, these fieldstone containers, you can open up and you'll get sunstone and moonstone. Sunstone's the more common one. Moonstone's pretty rare. Seems like my seems like everything's glitched out on my screen. Oh well, we'll go full screen then. Ah, uh, there we go, there, there we go, everything is now off by like an inch, great. Let's quickly rebalance everything. And I'll bring you up a bit, over slightly. There we go. Okay, okay. Hello, Fayulis. Um, we need to go over here. Over here is like the little crafting district. You know? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see, over here we have our master miner. And then we have our master apocalypse. I, I still can't pronounce that right. I'm gonna look it up after this. That way I can stop mispronouncing it. I guess it's something like a potency or something weird like that. But yeah, we have 29 tin to smelt up. So let's go ahead and craft all that tin up. Tin bars made by Andi Silver Silver. Oh yeah, that's our life. That's a lot of tin. Just sitting here waiting on all this tin to cook up. I have four platinum currently from all that trading with Eli we did. And all pretty good, pretty good. Let's go ahead and claim these artifacts that we have found. So we have that artifact, we have this artifact. Let's fix up our inventory a bit. That's nice, very nice, very nice. That can stack up now. Ah, this, that took a while. But, yep. We have a lot of iron now. We need to craft a workbench, which is over here. This is what I like, you know, the crafting bench, the forge, and the workbench, like, near each other. Like, really. To craft all. And also, we gotta send out a little letter saying that we all got all of our we got we're gonna have be able to get new products we can get copper and ash wood now um yeah pretty cool kind of like this is turning into a bit of a, like minecraft and stuff okay there we go so i bet you guys who have mining and foraging are kind of curious on where i'm getting this stuff so, I found out a great place for tin recently. Tin, like, I got a bunch of it right in around here. In this, like, area where you see my mouse running around, Fletcher's Beach, Point Salute, and Point Salute, and then Wayward Thicket. Those, I found a ton of tin in, like, inside of this pack. That's where I find most of my tin. Um, I found a bunch of copper... 
over here actually in this little area I found a bunch of copper pretty cool and so yeah, yeah. now let's quickly reorganize our bag and find a mailbox to send out the good news So there's a mailbox over here. Oh, yep, and we have a letter. You can tell you have a letter when there's a little mail up here. See who it's from. Kins. Cheap plat power level service. All hand work. Thank you, but no. Now let's send out to Mr. Blue Sky Gamer, our friend. Subject ten and you. Now we'll just call it. We won't. We'll, we won't subject it for. I think that's how it's from materials. Smiley face. So we'll go ahead and send over some stuff. So, here's what I wrote for now. For being with us so long, we have given you a special reward. I hope you enjoy the materials. And now we will tell... Now, this is where we draw a man load. Also, we have some... We have a great new... We stop on ten and Yule. Yule or you? You. Your plans. We now handle. Now, we now handle copper and ash wood. Smiley face. So, yeah. Subject, tin, ash, you, Hopper. And that will cost us one whole gold. There we go. Now we sent that away. We saw me. I want to see what we have. What's the big deal? Oh, I bet it's under spam. Nope. Oh well. So, why did I need to come here? Um, I think we're gonna do some more foraging today, actually. Sorry if you guys don't like foraging, but you see, Bluewood requires level 50 foraging to forge anything there. So, we gotta get those foraging up really high in order to be able to move on to Gloomwood. In order to do that, oh, um, give me a second guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, 
so I'm back. Just had a little talk with Eli. Hi. Now we are going to head over to here. No wait, that's High Glades. Yeah, we're gonna go head over to High Glades Lookout and see what all we can find. Uh, oh, I'm tired, man. I just stopped recording this so late. Um, we got a U log up there. Right now, we're looking for the new material. Let's go from here. Ooh, what's this? Ah, a major death rift. We'll go from there up to here. Yep, that sounds about right, which means we're heading this way. Let's hop on our mount and go. Yeet! Thought I saw a little diamond over here. Oh, well, we don't need to get everything. Weed blossoms, those are kind of rare. Tin, there's the tin. Let's get on our map. Ah, I see the mounts are instantly putting us on them today. That's good. There's that death rift. We got some ash wood over here. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Prize forging level 35. We are level 37, I believe. So, yep, we got some ash wood timber. Whoop, come tim timber. Sorry. For all of you people who don't like that song. Which I don't get why you don't know. It's not really that bad of a song. Let's go ahead and get this U. It's on our way. Ah, there is an artifact there. Let's go get it. Don't know what that is, but we're taking it. Ah, there's our first copper. We're getting far enough in that we're getting copper. This is the stuff that'll help us. Seems like copper takes a little longer to get. Ooh, we get opal. Revives a precious stone. That is cool. We'll open all of our little opals and planetarites and all that kind of stuff here at the end. I have a feeling we're going to start having troubles here. Well, maybe not. All oh, the Fayul pilgrims are killing them. Rats, you hit me. Yule log, Greenwood blossoms. If you want to see, like, the different places and stuff, it's right up here. And all those little diamonds, those are your resources. You know, um, got copper. Yep. Like, if it's near a rock, it's going to be, like, some kind of metal. Uh, where is it? Is it on top? Hello. Ah, here you are. There we go. Got another opal. Those opals aren't that rare, like the stuff. Is it really New Year? No, people are just trolling. Everyone's been saying Happy New Year. New Year's tomorrow. Wait, we're heading... Now I'm confused. Uh, this way. <laughs> Copper. Nope, creeper bush. We'll go ahead and grab it. 
Oh, there it is. Here's what the creeper bushes look like. No, they're like little bushes. They're just, they just look weird. Just keep everyone out, huh? And you collect roots from them. Copper over here. Oh, it's got a nice little cave. That's cool. Like, some of this stuff in the game is pretty cool and all. It's not really random. Someone, like, built all of this. And it looks amazing. Ooh, we got two opal there. Apparently. Ooh, we also need to go to a trainer. Because we need to learn how to turn copper and ash into um, the planks and the um, other stuff. Like, Silverwood apparently is the only place where you can find this um, mother. Come on. Ashwood, going for it. Ha, lady, it's mine. Sup. Only one. Jeez. No. Let's keep going. Yes, I'm recording, Shiva. Sorry, that was my sister. Oh, um, yeah, she doesn't want to say hi. Copper. Put my money on copper. And it is. Yes! Winners! I am the winner. Got some ash. We gotta stock up on all these new products. Come on, pick it up. Okay, so there we go, that's the end of that spree, it looks like. Foraging does seem to take a long, long time to get all the stuff, but hey, we're making pretty nice profits out of it, and we can always sell this stuff, not to just um, the players, but we can sell it like to the stores for some pretty good money. Got Razor Bush. It doesn't look deadly. Come on, why can't I pick you up? Side step. Side step. All forging level 70 rats. What's this? Leano. Leano. I can't even pronounce it. So, yeah. You're going to want to stay in Silverwood for a while, foraging. It's crazy. You see how far in we're at. Wait, what? I didn't really read that. Okay, we're eight minutes in. We still got oh, quite a bit of time. So, okay, we got full charge. Jeez, I haven't seen full charge in a while. Let's keep running into Silverwood. This time, let's mark out another path. We're going to take, like... This upper part of Silverwood, and all to like up here, is pretty good and resourceful. So we'll go to like here, because that looks pretty mountainous. Alright. I'll try to do most of my foraging off, off camera and all, because I know I'm not a, everyone pr probably would rather see me do something else other than just, um... Let me try to think of the word. We just head off the track here. I'm um, like, everyone wants... Uh, doesn't make, Not everyone likes to see me, um... Um... Just run around collecting stuff. I imagine that probably isn't very really fun for you guys and all. Like, I, I don't mind it and all. I kind of like it. But still, this channel's part here, guys, is too. Ow! Mother tracker. 
Tell us what you got. You are dead. As you see, I turned off auto looting. Let's go to his broken pencil. We'll grab this cotton cloth. I don't feel like taking it all. Cause like, why take it all if you don't need it? Got the creeper bush. Got ash. We'll grab the creeper bush. Like, I should make a texture pack for Rift where like creeper bushes are like baby creepers coming out of the ground like. Someone else grabbed that copper, I guess. Go, pet, go. I'm gonna sit here and keep running. Typical me, make the pet do it all. I bet this guy's probably gonna be a higher level than I am eventually. He's level 23. I, I'm pretty sure he levels up with me. This is kind of fire. Oh, I'm being overwhelmed. I'm being overwhelmed here. Too many. Oh lordy. See ya! Get right, motherfucker. No, don't kill me. Drink. Drink. Yes. Woo. That was getting scary. Oh. Yes, we'll take that cotton cloth. Got you, we got Greave, we got Tin. You. Yeah, we need some of this Greave, actually. Kind of running low on it. Die! Ninja! Okay, take all that. This cotton cloth sells for like a pretty high price actually. 17 each. Some you, some tin. We're not really after tin. We got a bunch of that. Ah, rats. Come on. Let me sneak past you. I hate it when things are, like, can take a hit of my lightning strikes. Suck it. Let's go ahead and grab the rest of these metals. Get in. Attack and working. One and a half P and unlimited. <laughs> ah, I hate that fire damage. Ah, get this. Ten. It's over here. We got some more you. Ooh, there's some ash up here. Go on ahead and grab this ash wood. Let's try to see what all this stuff means. Ah. Okay. Now I'm good. I remember taking on this place. I don't remember every detail, but I remember doing it. Up that ramp is the boss. Seems like there should be a load in here. A load or a loaf? Ninja, watch out! Here's is a bear. Rawr. Fight me. You 
Super Bowl. Let's go ahead and grab our U log. That's a different noise. I don't think we know how to cre process creeper bushes yet, actually. See, over here's a copper vein. It's pretty good. Here's our creeper bush. We're almost level 50 in foraging. Yep, now we're level 50 in foraging. And that's in the two day period. Oh my! Next thing that attacks me is more than dead. Oops, I attacked the wrong thing. Of course, Sandy, of course. Strike me one more time with that lightning. Ah, it's a missile! Uh, you got him, Pat? Yeah, he got him. Ah, uh, copper vein. Gonna have to get rid of you. No, not the lightning! Ouch! No, I wouldn't catch a grenade for no one. Jeez, there's another weird noise. What's up with these people and their funny accents? No, I'm just... It's like they're trying to scare you on Halloween. We should come here on Halloween. Of course, that's next year. This is for warriors. It's actually not that bad. We may give it a Eli. I don't think it's spellbound. Oh well. We got quests to do. Doesn't seem to... Well, maybe not quest yet. This is a nice little break from quest. This is so mountainy. Why isn't there any like copper and stuff? Woo! Yeah, this guy makes a lot of grunts. Oh, I see the copper. I got the copper. Yeah, this stuff is weak. I remember having problems with these little wispy things. Ugh, nice to scratch every once in a while. Don't want to do it too often though, or else it would, like, mess up your skin. Ugh. I bet we're getting close to the wrapping up point. Let's check. And we're getting really close, actually. So I think we're gonna quickly solely call back home, or er, to Sanctum. Come on, solely call success, 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 success. Yes. So we're gonna head to Sanctum, get our stuff processed, learn our new stuff, and then we're gonna call it an episode. And yep. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I remember when I couldn't get out of this sanctum. It was crazy. Okay, there we go. That's my right weapon. That's my wrong weapon. That's my right weapon. Now hide it. Yeah, C and Z. Z is like switch weapons because you're allowed to carry two as a mage and two as a warrior. And all warriors can use shields. Um, I forgot to show y'all how to use a shield. <laughs> now I feel kind of bad. Oh, well, let's go over here and get our mining trainer. 
Dude, it's like a temple kid. Oh, it's a weapon smell. Let's find our miner. He's right here. True mastery comes with practice. Well, I'd like to train. We can learn copper. And 20 tin bars, which means we can process 20 at a time. Whoa, that's different. Unstable flux, copper bar, and tin bar to make a bronze. That is pricey. Your willingness to learn will always take you far. Thank you. Except I'm really not that willing to learn. <laughs> So, we can we craft tin bars? Yes. Well, let's start off with our copper. Because that's going to take a while. So, hey Eli, if you're watching this vid right now, you got copper if you want some. Oh wow, it's actually upping my mining as I smelt this stuff. Well, now it's not. It stopped. Oh. Now it's no longer leveling me up as we go. Okay, so there's all of our copper. And here comes our tin. It kind of reminds me of the cube world, and I'll fill up the bar each time. It doesn't give you any bonuses, though. What was that? I am an apprentice crafter now. What did I do to get that? Craft a hundred, a hundred items of any type or level. Oh, very cool. Um, let's go over here and let's learn how to make ash wood. You are a rune crafter. You are a artificer. That's who we are. Yeah. I'm glad this is almost over. Wait a second. What's going on here? I thought I was already this. I'm lost. Oh, give me a second. I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys, because I'm not feeling so well anymore. So, see you guys later. Sorry. Um, yeah. Bye, guys.